Okay, it's Greeny here with a bit of a quick tour. Um, I haven't been filming um, because I still can't edit and my videos are terrible. They won't be a lot better, but they'll be a bit better when I can get an editing program going. Um, but we've had a heavy frost overnight and I just want to show you what's going on. I'm taking out the strawberry bed along here. I'm going to refresh that with new strawberries. That's been in a few years and it's time to change them over. Um, I've got daffodils starting to peek up above the ground over there and some hollyhocks behind. Um, the lemon tree grew a few lemons. I have harvested quite a few. Um, this is just weed suppression and strawberry killing under here. Um, and I've got a few irises that have peeked up over there. More hollyhocks and some self-seeded flowers coming up that greenery. Um, under here are the ranunculus that I've been growing from seed couple of hollyhocks from my own seed. The ones along the fence were from Lamley um, Nursery and Gardens. Um, I've got tulips in here just because I ran out of place to put them and then ranunculus from this section up and I really want to get them out from under the cover but I've got blackbirds and thank you to those on my Instagram stories who helped me out with the blackbird story. Um, oh my sign fell down. I must put that up. I love that sign. Um, given to me by a fellow gardening friend and Volkswagen friend. Tulips in the pots. And I'm gonna to have to come out when the, um, the frost settles itself a bit because the blackbirds just keep digging up the tulips and they just can't establish themselves. Like you can see, they just keep pulling them out. Um, we'll come across here. I have not planted any of my normal winter crops because I've got a tendon issue. You might have uh, might remember if you watched a previous video of me talking about my sore thumb. I had a t um, tear in the tendon. So I've got no winter crops, no cauliflower, no cabbage, um, no onions are in, no Brussels sprouts. So the garden is really just looking after itself. You can see the work of the blackbirds here just scurrying out all the soil from the garden beds. So um, I did have some sunflowers and there's one desperate looking one there that just needs to be cut down. This had nasturtiums. Um, it's going to be the tomato bed next season if I can do some gardening with my tendon issue. The hard herb bed, it's got artichoke, parsley. It did have um, other herbs as well, but they just perish. I've got thyme, lavender, sage and rosemary. This was um, silver beet and kale. That's been all fed to the chooks and moved out to the back. This is poppy seed that I just threw down. Um, I, like I just threw it on the top and it's coming. It's too thick, but I, at the time I had dahlias still everywhere. I couldn't dig them out myself. I actually had help to get them out because of my tendon. This was dahlias, it's just now resting. That's not a real chalk. Um, this was dahlias, it's now got some compost and some scraps from the greens and some um, sugarcane mulch and lucerne that came out of the chook run on the top. That's just going to rot down. This one here is peas and a few broad beans. Ordinarily, and I don't have a support for them to grow on because of the tendon. You can see some of them are growing up the side there, but these middle ones are in trouble. I just haven't been gardening, so things are just doing their own thing. Ordinarily, I would make neat rows to plant all those. I just threw them on. Um, over here, I've got garlic. And I did plant that before I, well, oh, I did have a tendon issue, but I didn't know what it was. So I just pushed on and planted them anyway. Um, strawberries were in there. I'm gonna cover that over and get rid of them. How I'm gonna establish my new crop is by all the runners that have grown down the middle. I will have plenty and be able to get a new, complete new crop out. So I will, as I get more cardboard, I will cover that over. I've moved a compost bin into the middle. This one here had some grass growing up in it and it was a potato bed. So I've had this under, oh look, there's still ice on the top. I've had this under plastic and there's a big thick layer of cardboard underneath as well, trying to kill off the grass because I'm organic, I don't use poisons. And um, that black cover will go to this bed when I unveil that. I'm leaving it twice as long as the recommendation because I do not want the grass. I'm sick of digging up the roots. They're long traveling white roots that just grow along and then pop up where they can. Um, this one here had some flowers in it, some dahlias in it. There's chives at the back and it did have some um, other flowers that I've moved out like lupins and things and a little bit of feverfew at the end. This next bed is asparagus. 
and the ferns have been cut down and I'm expecting to see tips peek through at any time. This very messy garden bed is next for a makeover. Just dumped some composty things there. And I'm going to try and make this a nice flowery border, border along here and that compost will come out and that compost will get spread. Um, over the back there, let's come around actually. Come around. Sorry if I'm going too fast to making you dizzy. Um, this is the calendula, three calendulas here that actually came out of that bed there. Um, I did that left-handed so I could save my tendon. It's about the only thing I've actually done. This is typically a flower bed and it's just got composty things in it and rubbish in it. I think I'm going to make that dahlias this year. And then we're back over here. I have got more garden beds behind the shed. Um, let's go and see those. So, um, oh, along here, let's just show you this. Um, see, look, here's another example of the blackbirds. They just pull my tulips out. Um, I'll put that back at some point. So the little leaves there, I think, are poppy seeds. I just threw some poppy seed from the bulk food store down. Um, there's a lot of um, jonquils, which I'm actually going to move out of this garden bed and put them just around the fence borders. There's um, some ranunculas that were left over from last year coming up that I didn't get. More tulips being pulled out. So they just lift them. They were down in the soil. They've obviously tried to move them out. Um, a little bit of primula that self-seeded from last year. And the occasional anemone, I think, that just found its way in there. There'll be tulips come in here, and then all my succulents um, are all, and cacti are all hanging out. The hostas have all died off for the season, and there's some hellebores coming up. Um, so let's whiz around behind the shed. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Let me unstretch you. You might not be as dizzy. I do need to do, badly need to do gardening, but I just can't with my tens of hella succulents. This is just a little bit of way up the side. And this is my most neglected part of the garden that I don't usually show. Hello dog, are you friendly? Um, I don't know my neighbour's dog's names or else I talk to them. This one was compost and is. There's a couple of potatoes in the front. Got a compost pile there. That was the original, these four were the original four gardens where my gardening began about 15 years ago here. This is potatoes. And this is where I moved silver beet and kale seedlings um, into this bed here. They'll do well behind here without as much light. Um, the tank, which is overflowing because it's winter and we've had rain. And I'm going to keep moving this compost as the brown layer into the black compost bins. I just store it here and throw a few bits on top to help it break down a bit quicker. Just um, just until I need brown matter because I have a lot of brown. You can see there's little, um, I don't know if it's onions or garlic or something coming up in that bed from another season. That was lettuce that just died. I just chuck it in there in case it's self-seeded. So that is a very quick and probably dizzying garden tour. So let's go back down the walkway beside the shed. Oh, I'm trying to take some cuttings in here. Let's unzip and show you. Um, they are chrysanthemum cuttings, if they work. Um, yellow ones there, pork ones here. I'm hoping to um, establish some of those, partly for myself, but partly for my sister-in-law who does some selling of chrysanthemums um, as a fundraiser. So I want to be able to give her some. Oh, my sign is frozen. Let's put that there. My little bird has fallen over. I badly need to garden. I just am not. It's just looking after itself and very messy in the process. So there'll be an update at some point. But just for now, here's a little hello. First daffodil of the season over there. Let's zoom in. Hello, yellow daff. All right, until next time. Hooroo, everyone.